and welcome to Moving in a Contactless World, France. My name's Karen Kubrin and I'll be your host for this special episode. The French rail system is considered technologically advanced and ahead of its time. And that's doubly true for its ticketing system. I'm here at CART 2007 to meet with Pierre Terré, who will demonstrate his ticketing on a token solution. The Régie Autonome des Transports Parisiens, RATP, is the major transit authority responsible for public transportation in Paris and its environs. It's under the authority of the Syndicat des Transports d'Ile-de-France, STIF, and its operational divisions include the Paris Metro system, part of the RER, an extensive bus system, and three tram lines. It also operates the Montmartre Funicula. The RATP was created on March the 21st, 1948, by combining the assets of the Compagnie du Chemin de Fer Métropolitain de Paris, CMP, which operated the Paris Metro, and the Société des Transports en Commun de la Région Parisienne, STCRP, which operated the city's bus system. Earlier, the CMP had absorbed the Société du Chemin de Fer Électrique Nord-Sud de Paris in 1930, and the Ligne de Sceaux in 1937. The STCRP had been created on January the 1st, 1921, by the merger of about half a dozen independent bus and streetcar operators in the Paris area. By the time the STCRP was merged into the RATP, all its streetcars had been replaced by bus routes. Currently, the RATP operate a multi-mode public transportation infrastructure. In Ile-de-France, the RATP operates buses, regional trains, trams and metro services. In Germany, Italy and the USA, in association with their respective partners, the RATP operates and maintains regional buses and trains in international markets. Noctilien is the network of night buses in the Ile-de-France region. There are now projects of creating new light rail lines. Hi. Hi, good to see you again. Um, I wonder if you could show us the demonstration of the download onto the USB stick of the uh, train ticket. Okay. Thank you. With pleasure. I will show you how a hand user can load uh, through the internet a uh, Calypso application inside a USB mm -hmm. key. Mm -hmm. How he can still uh, through the internet purchase for a ticket mm -hmm. and finally uh, process uh, validation on a gate mm -hmm. for the subway, for example, Okay. with a USB key. So just one of these yes. small little tokens, okay. So when the user uh, plugs the USB key uh, on his lap laptop, right. uh, a natural run will uh, launch uh, automatically mm -hmm. the the, the web browser right, of, of okay. the laptop okay. and the user will be redirected to a website which will propose to load uh, a few uh, applications inside uh, the, the USB. Okay. Inside the USB key there is a yep. smart card oh, okay. Okay. and uh, an, a Java applet is running uh, on the website, mm -hmm. on the browser. Yeah. And, uh, this, uh, this applet will uh, transfer the IP, uh, the IP packet, right. extract the IP command, okay. and will send it to the down, smart card down to smart of the USB stick. Okay. Okay. So firstly, uh, for example, I can uh, subscribe to the Calypso uh, service. Mm -hmm. So this is what you do if, for the first time, is it, when, when you've got your USB token? Exactly. It, 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 this operation is done only once. Okay. Uh, okay. The first time that the user wants to use the USB key, he has he have to load the application inside. Right. Okay. He starts by registering uh, his name mm -hmm. on the website. Mm -hmm. So the, the profile is sent to the website, mm -hmm. and uh, when he press to validate uh, the, the profile, mm -hmm. now the operation of to load the application and to personalize the application in the USB stick mm -hmm. is, uh, is uh, started. Okay, so that's something that's running on in the background. 
So how does that actually work in a, in a technical sense? Can you sort of show me on this, this diagram here? So we have a remote uh, server okay. uh, from our partner Cassis, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this server uh, can propose to uh, load, instantiate, and personalize any kind of application. The only need is that the secure element uh, where, where the application will be loaded, mm -hmm. this secure element has to support global platform. Okay. So the, the Calypso application is download like any kind of application. Okay. The only need is uh, the support of, of global platform. Okay. Which is inside the, the, the dongle here. Exactly. Okay. There is a web internet uh, service okay. with, to interface the server with the uh, laptop of the user. Okay. And uh, during three minutes, yeah. uh, the, the load and the personalization of the Calypso application will be done. Okay. We have a uh, partner uh, like Cassis and Neway, which uh, proposes uh, USB stick right. uh, compatible with uh, okay. global platform. Right, so we registered. Um, with, through the internet, the information has been downloaded onto the stick. Yes. Is it ready to use now, or, or do we have to do something else? No. Firstly, the user have to purchase for a ticket. Okay. Well, that so might I, help. I okay. I can show you. No, he is redirected to the website mm -hmm. to uh, purchase a ticket. Okay. The content of the Calypso application will be read, mm -hmm. and uh, the. An offer of of a ticket will be proposed. Okay, so there's the different user. choices, yes. and it's up to me to decide. Right, today I want uh, a day ticket, or I want to go in this area in Paris. Okay. Exactly. So I will select uh, a contract mm -hmm. with uh, Zone Six okay. to to work with uh, Gate. Okay. No. I will proceed to for the payment. Oh dear! So you have to obviously you have to pay for the ticket, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is free. No, that's true. So, for to do this operation, it, it's like uh, a payment on internet with uh, any kind of credit card. Okay. So you just type in the information. And when the payment will be proceed, mm -hmm. uh, the contract will be loaded inside the smart card. Okay. And when the operation is finished, right. uh, I can ask to receive a receipt by email. Oh good, so for work purposes, if you've got to put in a receipt for your permit or something, then you've got it uh, yes. in paper form. Okay, right. and it's as simple as that? Okay. Yes, it's simple. And now the, the user can, can take the USB stick okay. and uh, put it on, uh, on the gate to to access uh, okay. to the subway, for example. So you just put that in your bag or your pocket, and then when you come to the uh, the station, you want to go and catch a train, you just use the, the USB token. Yes. So I will show you. And, in, in and, one it's, and it's done. So thank you very much for explaining the, the demonstration to us today. It's uh, been a pleasure and very interesting. You're welcome. So. That's all we have time for in this episode of Moving in a Contactless World. We do hope you've enjoyed your visit with us to CART this year. Au revoir and à bientôt.